Dr. Pompa is an expert in detoxification, teaching thousands of practitioners across the country on proper detoxification protocols, how to get well after you may have become toxic. Toxins may be the reason you don't feel well, sure. can't lose weight, and even may be the reason you may be aging prematurely. Detoxification is more important than nutrition when it comes to longevity. And I know that you, Dr. Pompa, believe in that, and I yep, know that I absolutely. believe in that. So we want to walk you through some of those things today. As a matter of fact, there's a big bucket behind us right now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lake, and it's one of the only lakes, well, one of three lakes in Utah where they say you shouldn't eat the fish because it has a high level of mercury. And I know that that's just one way that a lot of us know that toxins can get inside our bodies is through fish. So people were out there eating this fish. They didn't read the warning. But these, these are bioaccumulating inside their, inside their cells or inside their lake. And I know that you have an analogy for that, Dr. Yeah. Pompa, that we can teach people here. Oh, and by the way, like and share this video. We've got thousands of people here already viewing this. Like and share it. This is going to be a great message. Look, the, the bottom line is we're seeing more people today, despite their diet, eating perfect, despite exercise, they still don't feel well, whether it's brain fog, getting more difficult to lose weight, low energy, not sleeping. And this is a toxic related issue. And that's what the studies are showing. And I'm not going to get into the science of the cell, but most people have cellular issues. And that's why you don't feel well. Toxins are the number one uh, reason why this is happening. So the lake analogy, okay. So toxins flow in from upstream from these mountains. It gathers a lot of heavy metals into the lake or the pond. And what happens is they accumulate in the lake and the lake becomes toxic. That's exactly what's happening in our bodies. Okay, let me make it more simple for them. <laughs> we all have different size buckets genetically. And from utero, in your moms, as a matter of fact, there's a study showing the number of fillings moms, it's called the Duress study, you have in your mouth because they're 50% mercury. That's how much accumulates in the baby's brains. And that was on autopsy studies, so it was really accurate. And lead as well goes from mom to baby. So our buckets start filling from the time in utero all the way through our life, and we end up like that toxic lake back there. So your buckets, genetically, some of us have bigger ones than others, right? Mine is very small. Yeah. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I, I, too, I, actually. I cleaned up hazardous waste for a living about eight, mi eight, eight miles, eight hours north of here, and that's how I got sick and how I became true. friends with Dr. Pompa, yeah, and he's the true. one that gave me my life back, and you had your story, and that's what saved our life. I, I, so that's what we're sharing this video. And here. I would say that I, for all of us, you know, from pain to purpose, because Toxins affected our lives. I mean, I, I couldn't sleep. I had no energy. Sound sensitive. You know, I became someone who I wasn't. You too. And now our goal is to bring this message. I want to bring something I think valuable to you all. Right now, I believe that most people realize they don't feel well because of toxins. But here's the problem. Detox is in vogue. Right. But the problem is, is most of the stuff you find online at health food stores, you know, whatever, right? You know, in practitioners' offices, that's not real detox. Real detox has to get to the cell. And I have a saying, you know this, you know, to get well, you have to fix the cell. And more right. specifically, you have to detox the cell. And you know, we do, we have you know, hundreds, really thousands of practitioners around the country doing cellular detox, doing work that, at the level. And this is really how you get your life back. But you have to get to the source. Most of these detoxes don't do that. They're way too far downstream right. to really, that's how we got our life back. You get upstream with a real, product that does the job, that's how you get your life back. Dr. Pompa, give them some takeaways on, you know, two, three ways that they can detoxify, some of the importance of detoxins, and some of the main toxins that may be affecting their life today. Yeah, I mean, when we look at, and again, we're, we're able to test a lot of people around the country because we have a lot of practitioners that we work with and train, and we're seeing extremely high levels of lead, mercury obviously, but the bigger issue is what's in here, not so much even what's in the body. You know, brain mercury, brain aluminum, you know, these metals are accumulating in, in the body, especially the brain. As a matter of yeah. fact, Hugh Fuddenberg, he's one of the leading immunologists, if not the leading immunologists in the country. At least he's one of the most quoted anyway. But, um, you know, Hugh, one of his studies showed, just looking at a 10-year period, five consecutive flu shots in that 10 years increased tenfold the risk of Parkinson's. So, and when Hugh was asked why, he said the bioaccumulation of aluminum and mercury in the brain. I'm gonna tell you, Hugh took a lot of slack for that. As a matter of fact, if you go to the CDC website, they're still attacking. But Hugh, to this day, stands by the, you know, his study and you know, his results there. But look, the bottom line is, 
you know, we have an epidemic of people who have lack of energy, brain fog, and hormone dysfunction. Toxins are the reason. You know, it's bioaccumulating because we've been exposed to so many. And there's one more factor today that's making this massive epidemic, and it's this. There's a chemical that they're spraying on every oh. bit of our food supply called glyphosate. It was the active ingredient, still is in Roundup. Here's Stephanie Seneff, I believe it was a 2012 study. She showed that glyphosate is causing these toxins, like heavy metals especially, to cross deeper into the brain. And that's the key. You've got to get upstream to here. You know, that's obviously how we got our life back. Listen, I have nothing against a colon cleanse, liver detoxes, all of these things, but all of it is too far downstream to where the real problem is. It's the bioaccumulation of these neurotoxins in our deep nerve tissue. So detox has to go to the cell, but really more specifically yet, I mean, it's the ones in the nerve tissue, neurotoxins. It's the epidemic. We put the lead epidemic. We, ha we grew up in the lead epidemic, right? right? I mean, from, you know, obviously paints, you know, to, to dishes. Uh, I mean, name some other exposures, but the number one exposure is mom. Yeah. We inherit, because ladies, during pregnancy, you lose bone. It's very normal, but that's a lot of where the lead is stored. So from the uh, out comes the bone, comes the lead in utero, not to mention the fillings, the mercury. Here's probably one that would shock you. If you wore contact lenses in the 80s, in early 90s, actually 70s as well, it had thimerosal in the saline solution. Same thing as in vaccines. Right, which went right into our brains as well. And these silver fillings, they vaporize. That's basically what, that's not basically, that's what got me sick. He was actually cleaning up mercury. Yeah, I have a master's degree sick. in toxicology and chemistry where I worked eight hours and it bioaccumulated. I got very, very sick and I didn't know why. Unexplainable symptoms, anxiety, I gained 70 pounds, I was 210 pounds, couldn't sleep at night, couldn't exercise. Everyone yeah. said, hey, you're just nuts. Release some stress, go exercise. He, he literally, then I got sicker. He came back from Montana sick and you know he is actually my wife's cousin. And I, I said, I know what's wrong with him. This guy's neurotoxic. And he wouldn't necessarily accept that. So I had him start reading things. He says, this is me. You know, just like it could and be And this you. might be many of you here yeah, as yeah, you're exactly. beginning to comment. Yeah. Look, we've been doing this for what? You've been doing it for 20, I've been doing it for 15 years. I cleaned up hazardous waste for a living. As a matter of fact, my master's degree was on the toxicity of, of lakes. So that's kind of ironic that we have this toxic lake behind us, or at least the fish are, it doesn't mean the water is. And we want you to have that information so that you can be empowered with I, knowledge. I, and I want to say this, if you have silver fillings or had any time in your life, there's mercury in your brain. I mean, yeah. it, it is, it turns the, that vapor turns to inorganic mercury and there it's locked and it won't come out without the proper detox. And, now, that's part of our point here today is, you know, you can't avoid the accumulation of toxins. Plastics, I, I'm going to say one study and I, I don't want to bore you, but this one's good because here's what happened in this study. They took two groups of identical twin mice, same genes. Right. They exposed one to BPA. That's what we get from plastic. It triggered a gene in the mice called the agouti gene. They became obese, thyroid issues, a lot of other issues. The hair became dry, yellow, etc. Sounds familiar to many of us. Not yellow, loss, but at least dry. Yeah. But in hair loss, yeah. And anyways, the bottom line was is that the next generation actually inherited that gene turned on. So they became little teenage mice, already obese. It didn't matter what they ate. Again, this sounds familiar. With thyroid issues, etc. So the genes are getting turned on. We're inheriting toxins that turn on the genes. So this is why this is a huge epidemic. And the good news is, is that they were able to turn off the gene. And that's With high levels lot. of methylation, which <laughs> is, is another tip. That's a lot high of what level we do. Of yeah, exactly. Hydro Hydroxocobalamin, methylcobalamin, these are great. The right fats, et cetera. Right fats, yeah, I turn mean, those genes of it, off. Absolutely. Make sure you like and share this video. If, if you love it and you want us to come back and do some more, I think you will. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. I'm here with Dr. Pompa. My name is Warren Phillips. We love you guys. We love the mission. We consider it an honor and a privilege to share with you today live from this beautiful location. Why don't we bring the, the video up just a little bit? Can we do that? There we go. You can get a good view. And we'll see you in the next video.